Hey guys, uh, welcome to Nita's Fluid Woodworks. I'm Nita, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a couple different styles of these beach scene charcuterie boards. So if you look at the lacing and the cells, you can see that they are different. See how this one's like frothy and this one's real lacy. Okay, so if you're interested to see how to make these, stay tuned. I got you. <laughs> All right, so. This little guy is for my white. Um, it's probably too much, but it's okay. So, see, I got epoxy on me. I'm changing gloves already. <laughs> uh, I like to keep a shirt over my shoulder. Weird, but I just, like I said, I don't like... Um, so this is dark turquoise, it's cold outside, so it is, um, it does not take a lot of any of these pigments either, guys, girls, y'all, my peoples, um, just seriously, just like, get your stick, like, colored or whatever it don't take a lot at all so you notice I have different ratios of each color this is just the way I pour um, it's just the way I do it uh, do yours however you want to do yours but these are the ratios that I prefer and that's just because um, I know the colors I like and I know the colors that I want more of so um, once you see what you like uh, then kind of just go from there so this is my titanium white and I just kind of mix them up a little bit and I do want my white a little more thick like um, opaque than the others not than the others I just I want a little bit more opaque okay it's not than the others because the other ones are gonna be opaque as well I just want to make sure that my white is white that's all that is I'm sorry I'm too busy I get into this and then I forget <laughs> what I'm talking about so my apologies guys um, have a torch on hand and have a heat gun on hand I'll put a link to everything I'm using in the description below. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able... Look at this. Look at this color. I'm going to swipe it on the side of the um, cup. Just so you can see it. Wowzas. Whew, that is pretty. These colors are so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. All right. So, like I said, keep a heat gun and keep a torch. Why? Let me tell you why. A heat gun is for popping bubbles and a heat gun is good for popping bubbles and making the viscosity, if you don't know what viscosity is, viscosity is, um, it's good for popping bubbles and making it thinner and flow easier. Okay? So, here we go. My dark color, I like a little bit of
Oops. That's okay. We work with epoxy. Epoxy don't work us. You understand? <laughs> it is okay. Honey. <laughs> That's what my daughter says. She's one. Honey. Okay, I'm about to get dirty. You don't have to get dirty, but I'm about to get dirty. I just like my stuff to look realistic, and I like my edges to be covered, okay? So do what makes you comfortable. Um, I have painter's tape on the back or on the bottom of my pieces. This is just the way I like my pieces. I like them to be realistic. I like them to kind of flow. Um, this is just the way I like my pieces. I don't like the colors so separated. Um, I did, when I was prepping my boards, I did, um, round my edges over as well. And what that did was it, um, it allows the epoxy to like flow over okay now I did leave some clear out as well and what that does is um, it's gonna help our cells and in our waves okay so I'm gonna take this glove off I told you I go through a lot of gloves <laughs> don't judge me and the reason why I did that is because I'm going to get my heat gun out. I don't necessarily want to move this just yet. I just want to thin it out. Okay? Okay, so now I am going to take some clear. And if you put down clear, it's going to help the, um, if you put clear down, it's going to help the cells form and stuff like that, okay? It's going to help your um, white move around, and it's going to help them cells form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white, and I'm going to lay down 
some waves. Now I do like to just have some white up there uh, without without the um, the wavy looking stuff. Um, I don't think everything has to have cells in it. Um, I'm from Florida. I do beaches a lot. So, uh, and if you get epoxy on something, just wipe it off. We could sand it. This is wood. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of cast and craft. I want some of these not so celly, like cellish, cell. I don't want so many cells in this. I like cells, but not too much cells, and I'm getting too much cells for what I'm going for. You might be going for something else, and I'll show you how to get all these cells and all this cool looking stuff. Um, this is just what I do. Like... They just kind of form, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain. So I'm going to add just some random waves. Uh, there's that. And now I'm going to do a little bit of clear over here. I'm going to hit it with the torch one more time because, like I said, it's chilly out and it kind of just sat for a little bit. And I do want it to move around. All right. So... So now we have our board and it is cured. I'm just going to show you on one. It's going to go the same through the rest of them, okay? Uh, we got our board and we're going to flip it over. And um, what I'm going to do is... Okay, so now we have our board and it is cured, right? So we're going to flip it over. And I'm going to clamp it down. And you can take a sanding block if you don't have a sander. If you work with epoxy and you want to know a good sander, I'm going to do a review on this sander right here. I'll put a link to this in the description. This is my sander. I do massive river tables. And this has moved my work from six, seven, eight hours of sanding to like one to two. I swear to God. And I'm talking dining room tables. So, okay, let me show you something. 
on here, we have this right here. You could fill this with epoxy, right? But I'm going to show you something so, so simple and so quick. It's going to blow your mind. Like, watch this. Okay, so I'm taking my painter's tape and I'm going to put it right here on the edge. Okay? Right there on the edge. Hold on. You missed it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my painter's tape and I'm putting it right here on the edge to block this right here, right? So now I'm going to take... And I just want to make sure that you can see what it is that I'm doing. Now, this is called CA glue. It's from Starbond. I'll link it in the description. And this is an activator. Starbond does have an activator, but it's just more expensive. And I try to cut cost. The more I can cut cost, the cheaper I can sell my products. And I'm known for being pretty cheap. So, take your CA glue and... If you got a knot or a hole or anything, just add a little bit down in there and spray and add some more. So what we're going to be doing is like layering, okay? And spray and add some more. And you're going to do this until you get flush. And you can be a little bit proud. Um... Spray some more. And I think we're good. So I'm going to literally give that probably about 15 seconds. Um, so if I see there. And look at that. Well, this is just the activator moving. But that is dry. Like, the, the glue is dry. Now with epoxy... You could get a fast curing epoxy. That takes six hours. Or you could get uh, just a regular tabletop epoxy, what we use for this. That takes 24 hours. Or you can use CA glue, and that takes 12, like 12 to 15 seconds. You see how fast that was? Boom. Done. And it's dry. Like, this is dry. So what I will do from here is... And I keep these on hand. It's just a razor blade. And like I said, I work with epoxy. So I keep them on hand. A lot of them. And I'm just going to knock down the edges of this. Like, I'm going to try to get it as flush as I can with the wood. And that's going to knock down my sanding time by a lot. Not by a lot, because this sander's freaking amazing. But if you got, like, just a regular palm sander, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Or this, the scraper. This thing is amazing. If you just go over it like this, this is what I would use. I don't know how invested you guys want to get. But this will make sure that you're flat, that you're not digging into the wood. Bam. Now we're flush, right? So, we're going to take it. We're going to clamp down. Okay? And you want to clamp down because you don't want vibration. You get vibration, you're going to get scratches on your resin. We don't want that. And we're going to... This is clean. You see how clean that is? But we're just going to make sure that there's no sharp edges. So, we're going to go ahead and take some 120... And I get my sandpaper off of Amazon. It is cheap. And I mean cheap. Don't go to your hardware store. You're going to pay $8 for six discs. And I can get, like, I think 180 for 13 bucks. Bam. All right, so we got that in. And the reason I like this is because it has a turbo. So I'm going to turn on my vacuum just because I don't want to breathe this in and um, I'm just going to sand this down real quick and sand this.
So there we go. That is it. And now we're going to seal our board, okay? But for me, there's one more step.
We are there. We're at the end. <laughs> okay. So this is Nita's wood goo. So what it is, is it's a finish that I've been making, but I've decided to offer to everybody, anybody that wants it. It is um, like vegetarian based and um, everything that's used in here is FDA approved. So um, it's like a wood butter or a spoon butter. Um, it's, but I make it so it's neat as wood go. Uh, you can find it on my Etsy page. I will link my Etsy store in the, um, bottom. Uh, and I'm actually doing a video on how to make it. So, um, there you go. <laughs> but anywho, so this is that and it's a food safe finish and I'll show you what it looks like. So what you do with this is you add, uh, or add, oh my goodness, y'all, it is getting late. Um, so what you do with this is you wait about six um, to 24 hours, depending on, and this can be used on wooden utensils like spoons or like those um uh, spatulas, anything wood, wood furniture, wood cutting boards. That's what I make it for is my, um, my cutting boards and these, uh, serving boards. But look at the difference. And this stuff does not go away quickly. And a little bit goes a long, long, long way. So check those out. So we have come to the end of yet another video. I hope they're getting better because I know they're not great. Um, like I said, I know that I have a lot to offer. If you got anything out of this video, hit that like button, please. And um, hopefully you stick with me on this journey so that way I can create some amazing content for you guys and teach you everything that I know. Um, 
I have a one-year-old daughter and um, she was diagnosed with a soft airway which led me into woodworking and that was hard and um, financially um, and uh, it just it wasn't easy sorry I want to take this glove off um, okay so it it just it wasn't easy three days cost me a ridiculous amount of money, $24,000, and um, she needed therapy to be able to breathe and swallow and all these things, and she went from uh, seven, or almost seven pounds to four pounds in like two, three days, so um, that's how I got into this, and I pushed myself to learn epoxy, and now my business is thriving, and I want you guys to be able to do what I do. And um, so if there's any way that I can help you, um, please just don't hesitate. Shoot me a message, if not on here, on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Uh, sorry for opening up a little bit, but I just want you to know where I'm coming from and that um, I really didn't know anything about epoxy either. I learned from trial and error. There's a lot of people out there that aren't willing to show you their tips and tricks and behind the scenes and how easy this actually really is tedious but easy so um if you like this video please hit that like button there she is right there with her little butt sticking up <laughs> um if you like this video please hit that like button consider subscribing i will be pushing out more content um for you guys if there's something that you want to see that i haven't covered yet which i'm sure there is because there's not many videos and like i said the first ones they're getting better um i'm kind of waiting on a new camera so um but the money that I get goes to medical. So um, it is what it is. Anywho, so that's what I got. I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you got value out of this video, have a blessed night, y'all.